Hey guys, I'm Destiny. This is Monday Mail number 25. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the questions. First one comes from Ben Bean Yak. Destiny, you've been hopping from game to game a lot recently. You recently played FTL, Final Fantasy, Factorio, and now you're playing Hearthstone. In comparison, and in the past, you've played a single game dedicatedly for very extended periods of time. Of course, StarCraft 2 comes to mind at this rate. Even you consider yourself a variety streamer. Why aren't you sticking to a single game? Is it not as good for viewership? Are you getting bored of playing single games for extended periods of time? Or have you just not found a game that you could seriously play for extended periods of time? Does the game have to be big enough for you to consider it? You've even described that you very much enjoy playing games to improve upon them, where even slight improvements are very rewarding, but you're not really playing games for that experience lately. If you just haven't found a game that you can get committed to, then what are you looking for in a game? Also, do you think that the gaming market is trending towards games with different des designs that don't appeal to the type of game you want? Do you find this to be an issue? I think it's an issue for me right now. I can't find a game that I want to play with passion like I felt for WOL, Wings of Liberty. Um... I, so basically my goal has always been over the past couple of years, I guess, is to find like a, a big meme game to play for a long time. Something like League of Legends, StarCraft, Hearthstone, uh, Overwatch, CSGO, something like that. And then to have kind of like these side games in the roster that I just roll through whenever there's like interest for them. Um, so like if a, if a new AAA title comes out like Final Fantasy XV or The Witcher 3 or something, right, we would run through that. Right now, um, I guess I've gotten on... I, I guess I've just... Um, I don't know. I think my, my, my primary game right now is supposed to be League of Legends. So that's the one that I that I sink my time into, that we try to get better at, that we try to go pro at, climb the ladder or whatever, get to Diamond 1 Master, whatever challenger, if, if, we're, if we meme hard enough. But um, yeah, I guess it just right now, as of recently, I've gotten caught with a bunch of side games. I kind of had to play Final Fantasy 15. I've always been a Square Enix fan, or at least up through 10. I haven't really played anything since then. Or I guess Deus Ex. I mean, it's a Square Enix game. Um, and then... Um, yeah, I don't know. All the other side games were just games that I'd wanted to see. But this is probably over the past couple months have been the most I've been bogged down with like side games. Um, Factorio, I mean, the chance to play with Kyle was always fun. And the game seemed interesting and I enjoyed playing it a lot. And um, uh, RimWorld, I mean, was a lot of fun. That kind of crazy RNG game in a similar vein to FTL, which is also a lot of fun. And then... Um, yeah, so I mean, I've been kind of playing these side games, Final Fantasy XV. I, th I thought I would run through and play The Witcher 3 again, just as kind of a, and I love you to my fan base if we ever actually finish it. Um, and then I'll probably do the epilogue as well, just as kind of like a like an end of year gift, thank you or whatever to my audience. The, um, the, um, oh God, I totally just lost. Oh, um, we're playing Hearthstone. Hearthstone was never really supposed to be played again, probably, but Hearthstone wanted to pay me a lot of money to get legend again in hearthstone and then to get to the um and then to play one more rust wipe with the crew so i figured fuck it um i'll, I'll go ahead and um, i'll go ahead and do it so now we're just trying to grind a hearthstone legend again and then we'll put the game down and be done with it i guess until somebody offers a lot of money to do it again and then um we have um and then we've got like one rust wipe to play through i'm trying to put a thing up where on my subreddit i'll just have like a general outline for the month if you look I'll, I'll always call them like a to do or whatever so right now the to do for december which will carry over into january if it doesn't get done is to get legend and hearthstone to play one rust wipe and we've got finishing the witcher 3 doing the epilogue for sc2 oh and then i said i would play um the last of us as well on playstation 4 i mean i've got it there's a sequel coming out soon and it's a game that i should probably play because apparently it addresses a lot of the criticisms i have with rpgs these days and that the character design tends to be fucking horrible and shallow and you really don't give a fuck about any of the characters so yeah, I think um, I'm, I'm, I am doing the stick to one game thing. I've just, over the past couple of weeks, I've been, or well, a few weeks, a couple of months, I've just been playing lots of other games, I guess. So it doesn't really seem like it as much. The second question comes from Enin Nimashu. Hey, buddy, after working at a casino, what's your outlook on gambling? Any memorable memes on people who clearly had a problem? When I was younger and doing the casino memes, I was also getting really hardcore into poker. And uh, part of poker, a lot of that comes with... Um, kind of an analysis of, of, of how statistics work, I guess, expected value. And understanding these concepts really hurt gambling for me as a whole. I have a really hard time sitting down at a table of craps or Baccarat or, um, or, or any kind of slot machine or whatever, knowing that every single bet I make is an EV negative bet. Every single pull of the fucking hammer, every single um, her lever, whatever, every single bet that you put on, on any kind of table game is always going to be a negative EV 
bet. So that that's just not fun for me. I don't know. I, I guess um, I, maybe different people's minds are wired in different ways. For mine, I just can't really, I don't get a kick out of gambling. It's just not something that's entertaining for me. Now, some people might find it entertaining, which is cool. I don't like view them as stupid or less or anything. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, if you want to gamble, that's fine. I don't think my overall view of gambling is super negative. Some of it gets a little bit iffy. Like, I don't know, I, when you see the same people coming into the casino every single day, I start to wonder, and that's very common, um, at least at the casino I work, the senior citizens bring their social security in literally every single day to the casino. If you ever find yourself being emotionally invested in a negative way in, into what you're doing at the casino, it's probably time to stop. If you find yourself being disappointed that you are losing, like you should be able to walk into a casino with any amount of money that you're bringing in and, and then walk away with nothing and it shouldn't have a very negative impact on your mood because you will lose more often than you will win. Um, that's a fact you, over any, uh, over the larger the volume, the, the more likely you are to lose, you know, money going into the casino over the long term. but that should be okay. You should accept that, right? You're only going there because when you play and you get the big wins, those are really exciting and fun. And if you lose, it's okay. You had fun playing anyway, looking after that win. And then that's it. But if you go in and you gamble and you lose and your mood is like, you're very, very, very sullen. You're very upset. Um, it's then you need to, it's time to stop going to the casino. Your, your life will be, um, your, your life will be better off for it. Trust me on that. I saw some pretty sad things at the casino. Um, so there was a girl there, there was an Asian chick that was in the poker room a lot that would like give blowjobs people in the parking lot for money and shit to try to get more money to play in the poker room. Um, this girl was a diamond player at Harrah's. If you know anything about the reward system, the diamond tier is the second highest tier. It's fairly hard to get to. I think you needed to gamble 50000 a year. I want to say it was $50,000 a year to get it. And um, she was a student. And the only reason she had money is because she was taking all the money that her parents gave her for her... Um, all the money that her parents gave her for school, she was taking it to the casino. She didn't go to school at all. And I, and I don't know how her story ended up um, out. I guess if anybody knows Christy from Council Bluffs, <laughs> if anybody knows what the fuck happened to her, I'm not sure. Um, the um, Oh, and then old ladies. There is, a, there is a story once at the casino. Old lady sat at a slot machine and put like $1,000 in and didn't get fuck all out. And then another lady sat down almost immediately after. Some, what, the, what, the, what the people do sometimes is they'll play one slot machine and then they think that like if it's, if it's not hot, they'll move over to another one. This lady put 1000 in, um, you know, switched over to another machine. Another lady sat down and won almost immediately after sitting down. And the other lady thought that she'd won her money. She that, that was her money. So she got up and and started attacking this lady with her purse. It was fucking insane. And they had to call security over. Um, yeah, I don't know. And then drunk people in general can be pretty funny. Lots of fights breaking out. Um, one dude in a, one guy in a wheelchair. I remember um, when we um, they called us over to help with security for one of the. Um, one of the concerts that they gave, some guy with a wheelchair was fucking with security and he was drunk as fuck and he had an automatic wheelchair and he fucked one of our security was this huge fucking black dude. I think his name was Daryl. Massive guy. Huge, huge dude. You wouldn't want to fuck with him. This dude with a wheelchair would like run up to him and like poke his belly and then he'd fucking wheel him, wheelchair himself off and he had one of those little quick electric ones and um, I remember that the guy ended up chasing him down and this dude was like fucking rolling around in the fucking parking lot being chased by like two security dudes like shouting and screaming the entire way like it was the most insane fucking thing i've ever seen in my life um it was pretty stupid but um yeah i don't know I, for the most part i guess what did i say before I, I lied whatever i said before i lied i think my outlook on gambling is a little bit negative i would say my outlook on gambling is a little bit negative probably just because i know how many people go in there and come out feeling um feeling bad or disgusted with themselves and um yeah, I don't know. I think it's really hard to responsibly gamble. It seems like if you're capable of doing it, more power to you. But it seems like most people aren't capable of responsible gambling. And gambling on, on its own, um, gambling is pretty much an, an t somebody taking advantage or exploiting your, you know, the cognitive biases that you have as a person. The fact that you're more likely to remember wins and losses. The fact that humans are bad at, um, at figuring out if they're up or down, if they've won money or lost money in the long run. Um, the, the fact that people are bad at calculating odds. Um, the people have a lot of superstition. Like these are all cognitive biases that casinos exist to exploit, right? If everybody was a perf perfectly rational actor, casinos wouldn't exist because nobody would play any of the games for the most part, right? But um, I mean, yeah, I guess if you're if you're able to go to a casino, have fun, and lose all your money and still come out feeling okay, then more power to you. But don't don't go to the casino if you find yourself coming out, you know, sad ever, right? You just shouldn't you shouldn't do that. Third question is by Volts SC2. Hey man, happy belated birthday. I was just wondering if there's a bucket list or really things just in general or really oh, or really things just in general you want to achieve or places that you want to visit in your lifetime. 
Um, I've never really been a bucket list kind of person. Um, I guess like if I had to think of anything that I like really want to do, I would probably have to say fucking your mom. <laughs> fucking got him, dude. Um, no, I really, I don't know. I don't, I don't get a kick out of like seeing things. Like, I don't know. I've never been a big sightseeing person. When I travel places, I typically stay inside and play games all day. Um, I guess if I had to sightsee anywhere, I mean, somebody, someplace amazing, maybe like, I don't know, maybe like Tokyo. Um, just because of all the lights and all the anime memes and all that shit, maybe. I don't know. It seems like a cool place. The, um, the one place I've ever really wanted to go, there's a place in, um, oh, fuck. I, um, I want to say it's in Sweden, but I don't think it's in Sweden. It might be like in, it might be like in, in Norway. Um, well, I should have looked this up beforehand. Fuck. Um, dot fi would be probably what finland there's this place in finland they have, they have this vacation place where they have like these icicle or, or not they're like these glass igloos that you can go to for vacation i'm probably going to do this sometime in the next years it looks really fucking sick as fuck you get to see the aurora borealis you get to be like in these like uh, igloos with like this glass and shit and um yeah i don't know it looks like really fucking sick I don't think I'll have internet, so I'm not sure what I'll do there, but we'll figure something out. Um, yeah, that, like of all the places I've ever wanted to go, I don't know. I'm not really big on views or sight scenery or anything like that, but I don't know. This place looks like really, really, really cool. Um, I'll, if I remember to, I'll try to link it in the comments. Oh, actually, I'll send I'll send this link right now to Joe Wield. Link for our Monday mail video in description. F bam, so that I don't forget it this time. Um, yeah, this place looks really fucking sick. I don't think I've ever seen anything that looks quite like it, so... Maybe I'll maybe I'll shoot for something like that, but um, yeah. Otherwise, I don't know. I'm not a big bucket list person. I don't have like a oh, I really want to go skydiving before I die or anything. Like I already think I live kind of a dreamy life. Okay, getting to play video games, you know, all day, disappointing my fan base by arguing with people instead of playing The Witcher Three, um, and still having them come back and watch my videos because they're that obsessed with me. Who oh, feels good, man? Um, no, nah, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's just not the kind of person I have. I have. I am. Yeah. So I think that's about it. Um, I changed the lighting and whatnot on my camera a little bit on stream. I don't know if it looks that different, if it looks better or worse. Um, I might actually get into, I might buy a different lighting setup right now. I've got two big soft boxes that are just kind of hanging out here. Maybe I'll try to set up an actual meme lighting three point setup because a lot of people have been suggesting it. And then maybe I'll actually dig into this camera a little bit, the Panasonic GH4. Maybe I'll dig into it and try to learn what all the settings do and actually figure out how to get like the best picture quality out of it. I already think it looks a lot better than, um, than normal but or, or i guess an hour than a fucking webcam would but, but maybe maybe we'll dig in more to it and look at it but anyway that's all i got for now thanks a lot guys i appreciate it good luck stay safe peace out